What's up, Libra? This is going to be an end of the month love reading for you guys. I'm double Libra. Libra moon and Libra rising and Cancer sun. So I get it, guys. <laughs> double air. It, that, shit, that shit's hard. Alright, overall energy. Ace of cups, okay? So there is love here, okay? Or you're going to be getting a love offer or you want to offer love, okay? So, current energy right now, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Or this is just like gossip, you know, bad news, okay? Receiving a message, bad news, somebody not wanting to work on a partnership or grow within a partnership, okay? It could be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be, though. So, in the past, it looks like there was emotional fulfillment, okay? Someone got their wish, okay? So, in the thoughts, you know, somebody's not happy. Not happy and not content putting work in, okay? This could be work-related, you know, somebody not happy with their job, but, and gossip, you know, at work, but... I don't really tend to focus on money, just love. But somebody does not want to build on a partnership here. Somebody's thinking, you know, I don't want to put my time and effort in anymore. So on the bottom, we've got somebody not wanting to wait anymore. Wanting to give up. Wanting to give up. So the challenge is the Wheel of Fortune reversed, okay? This definitely could be a money situation, okay? Like, just not happy with your job, but I'm not going to get into that. So, <laughs> Wheel of Fortune Reverse is, like, things are stalled right now. Like, not going anywhere, okay? Not going anywhere. So, it's, like, not wanting to, you know, just feeling like shit. Not wanting things to move forward, okay? Someone's feeling like this. So going into the near future, we have the sun reverse, okay? So there's either somebody not getting clarity or, you know, the light isn't being shown on something or somebody is not seeing things in a positive light, okay? This is the most positive card in, in, in the deck. You know, enjoying family, enjoying life, being positive, having clarity, having hope, having faith, okay? But when it's reversed, you know, the opposite. But we can easily turn this right up. Some of you guys, it could be a Leo, okay? So someone could be feeling like this relationship is one-sided, okay? Again, it may be work-related, okay? But it's like one-sided. Like, some, you guys may have put more work in than the other person, you know, or the other person took you for granted, or you took the other person for granted, okay? So, other current circumstances, there is a cycle not completing, or there's this feeling of things going around and around and around in a circle, okay? We'll clarify everything to make sure, too. So, in the hopes and fears is missing a love offer, you know, being discontent, you know, focusing on these other things, whatever they may be, you know, these other emotions, and not seeing love coming in, okay? Maybe not even wanting love, not focusing on love right now, okay? That could be what you're thinking, or that could be what your partner is thinking. So the outcome could be a Sagittarius, but there's like this impatience here. Okay, emotional imbalance, like, no peace here, okay, definitely emotional imbalance, and I have to mention it, with these two cards together, there very well could be overindulgence going on here, okay, whether it be alcohol, drugs, whatever, you name it, that could be possible as well, but there is love here, so I'm going to put it down, we're going to clarify it, okay? Maybe, okay, maybe it was in the past. It could have been from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Or it could have been at work. And it was something that didn't get off the ground, okay? It wasn't successful. Maybe there was a lot of passionate energy and it just didn't, you know, go, yeah. Somebody could have cut someone right off. Somebody could have been a big bitch and cut someone right off, okay, in the past. 
Could have been you guys. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Yeah, could have been a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that you were dealing with and or somebody, okay, that was not doing anything, okay? You know, there was emotional fulfillment, but things just stalled out, okay? And there could have been a lot of manipulation, a lot of mind games, a lot of conflict, you know, fighting, harsh, harsh, harsh conflict, okay? Could have been dealing with a fire sign as well, okay? Aries Leo Sagittarius that is rotten, okay? Rotten person, guys. Like, I'm sorry to say it, but this person reversed, okay? Male or female fire sign is nasty, nasty, nasty. All about mind games, all about conflict, all about being a bitch, okay? Air sign or fire sign, okay? Or earth sign. So there was emotional fulfillment, but somebody got told the F off because there was manipulation and mind games. And that's how we work, right? We don't put up with that shit. So, <laughs> there could have been reuniting with this person, okay, in the past. This could be partying as well, celebrations. Could have been a third party involved in the past as well with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a Gemini, okay? And somebody had to make a decision. Definite, probably third party. Yeah, somebody cut someone right out, okay? Because they were not committing and they were in and out of somebody's life. Somebody's life, okay? In and out of somebody's life, you know, not being truthful, okay? Not being truthful. And they came with a lot of conflict, okay? I'm getting fire sign or earth sign heavily. Why is the seven of pentacles reversed for Libras? Why is the seven of pentacles reversed for Libras for the end of the month? Yep. Somebody gave right up on this person that was in and out, in and out, in and out. Not consistent, okay? Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be sun, moon, or rising, okay? Or anybody could take on that energy. It could be any sign. Somebody gave up because somebody was not following through on their promises. They came with a lot of conflict. They came with a lot of ma emotional manipulation, okay? Could have been a water sign as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, someone made a decision, okay? Someone made a decision and about somebody lying, okay? Or somebody just cut somebody right out, okay? Oh yeah. With the tower here, somebody cut somebody right out. Could have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Scorpio, any sign, guys, okay? Let's see. Why is the Page of Wands reversed? Yeah. Somebody's stuck in their head right now about a message that they've received. Okay, could be from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone's, you know, really stuck in their head. Really stuck in their head, and it's regarding love, okay? Maybe, you know, someone does want to revive the past with someone, and they're just very confused right now. But... Do you want to go backwards? <laughs> or do they want to go backwards? We don't want to go backwards because it's Wheel of Fortune. This is positive change. This is negative and it came out this way. We don't want negative change. Why is the Wheel of Fortune reversed for Libras? Or this person in the past could have been a total narcissist. Like... Yeah, things are not going in somebody's favor within love, okay? They're not going to go in somebody's favor within love. Our love is just, you know, stalled right now, okay? This offer very well could be from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It's not getting off the ground, okay? This person in the past could have been, a, you know, a narcissist. Yeah, again, air energy could have been a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could have been you guys, okay? You know? 
somebody, you know, careless, reckless behavior, popping off at the mouth, very nasty communication, okay? Someone could have done something, okay, within a partnership. Somebody could have could have got caught doing something, you know, lying, some lying, sneaky, cheating behavior, okay? Ooh, so there is new creation for Libra. Yeah. All right, let's see. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed for Libras? Yeah, someone's not happy within a relationship and they let go. They didn't want to put the work in, so somebody let it go, okay? Could have been with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Gemini, or another air sign, okay? Very nasty energy here. Conflict, you know, immature, nasty, nasty energy, okay? And someone had to make a decision, okay? Or someone has to, you know? like someone you know could have wanted to stay single or not wanted you know pretended they were single and they had a lot of options okay a lot of options oh lord good god guys mercury retrograde Somebody may come back, okay? Oh, Lord. Yeah, someone's, you know, paranoid, has he very hesitant about this, okay? And they're f somebody's finally coming out of feeling like they can't sleep at night, having anxiety, you know, worrying all night about this situation and somebody's like on the verge of giving up there's this hesitation here you know maybe i can do it again maybe i don't but then we've got death here on the bottom okay with the four of swords so it's like time to put it to rest time to have a rebirth time to end it you know because it's toxic okay very toxic relationship could be a Capricorn, Scorpio, any sign, guys. Why is the sun reversed for Libras? Yeah, someone's holding on to secrets, okay? Somebody's hold their emotions. They're not seeing the positive. Somebody's holding back their emotions and not seeing the positive. You know, maybe there was something that, you know, someone could have learned from this relationship, you know? Or it's going to seem depressing because these secrets may come out. Especially if you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Leo, okay? Or a fire sign. Or a Libra, but there's going to be justice here for you guys. Libra, this is your card. Things are going to be balanced and fair. If you're dealing with a fire sign, you'll get your justice. Or an, another air sign, okay? It's like somebody cutting this person right off. Could be court cases as well that you guys are dealing with. And they're going to go in your favor. Yeah, the towers already come crumbling down, guys. I know. I know. Whatever was built on faulty foundations, they came crashing down because it wasn't good for us because there was manipulation, okay? Some of you guys, it could have been an Aries or a Scorpio. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for Libras? Yeah, there could be some communication about things being, you know, unstable right now, okay? Good God, don't tell me. Yeah, it could be a finance situation, okay? Or somebody needs to make a decision 
about whether, you know, somebody doesn't want to commit here and they need to, you know, weigh up their options and make a decision. It could be Taurus or an Aries. All right, we've got a big nasty bitch or a dick sorry excuse my language fire sign you know being left out in the cold okay somebody could have left you know left out this fire sign in the cold or somebody was being rotten and nasty and somebody got left out in the cold but somebody's still holding on to the past someone may return guys and want forgiveness and healing but god don't tell me that Yeah, an earth sign fire, or fire sign could come back. Alright, that's why the cycle is not complete. Why is the world reversed? Oh, God. Could be a Gemini or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or another air sign, okay, that's very immature, that comes with conflict, okay? That is not letting a cycle complete. Somebody needs to make a head over heart decision about this person. You know, is this really what you want to be in? Is this really what you want to be in? Why is the four of cups here for Libras? Same, same damn thing. Ge could be a Gemini, could be a fire sign, could be another air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone needs to make a decision, okay? I think somebody already has because there's too much conflict. Immature conflict, nasty, nasty words, okay? Conflict, conflict, conflict. Emotional manipulation as well with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And it's just like, no, no. Like, somebody doesn't want it. Somebody doesn't want this, this love. Why is um, temperance reversed? Yeah, guys, if you have court cases going on with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, you guys, this is your card. You're going to get, you know, you're going to be able to balance things out, okay? There's going to be this balance, okay? If there's Or if there's court cases with this person, they're going to go in your favor, okay? They might go in that person's favor, too, and ca cause an emotional imbalance, okay? Because somebody may lie, okay? Jesus Christ. This shit is intense. Okay, or like an Aries Leo Sagittarius is going to like seek some justice, especially a Sagittarius. What the fuck? What, what is this outcome for Libras? What the hell is this outcome? Why is temperance reversed? The king of wands and justice here, spirit. Somebody's wanting their wish to come true. Could be an Aquarius as well. Okay, somebody may be juggling two people and need to drop someone, okay? That's why there's no higher level of commitment here. Good God. Why is the Or somebody's having hope and faith and healing from this situation, okay? And there'll be emotional balance brought back, okay? It very well could be with that, with that fire sign, okay? Or with another Libra or an Aquarius. They're both upright. Yeah, we've got the Six of Swords reversed. So someone may be moving on and not wanting to work on this partnership, okay? Some of you, it may be a Virgo or another Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well what I'm seeing why is the ace of wands here for Libra yeah there's new creation with somebody okay but somebody's somebody's moving on okay somebody wants new creation and somebody's moving on and not wanting to build very well could be a Virgo or somebody's isolating themselves and not wanting to build on a relationship okay within love there is new creation why is the six of swords here for Libras Okay, they may come back, okay? 
They may come back and want some forgiveness and healing, okay? Or you may want may want them to come back, okay? And go one more round, even though, you know, things may have ended. And there may be no communication with this person right now. But be careful, guys, because this person is toxic. Toxic. It could be an, a Capricorn, an Earth sign. It could be another Air sign, Fire sign, or a Scorpio, guys. Be very careful. Very careful. So I wanted to read to you guys these Romance Angel cards for Libra. We had unrequited love, okay, and it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Then we had new love, so it says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, so we're definitely going to clarify that. And then we had let go of control issues, temperance, you know, wanting things to happen too, too quick, you know, not having the patience. It says, allow this situation to unfold naturally. And temperance is all about, you know, letting, trusting in the universe and letting the universe bring to you who you're meant to be with at the right time. Trusting in the universe, you know, having this hope and faith that, you know, you'll get, you'll get your justice. Good God, it's like a Libra. Yeah, somebody's definitely backstabbed and betrayed and moving on okay moving on could be a leo okay or somebody's having the strength well who is here for new love for for libra why is new love here for libra you guys have got the ten of cups here maybe someone from the past okay that's same what sign is it? Yeah, somebody feeling depressed, guilty, and remorse for what they've what they've done. Okay, could be a Capricorn. Okay, they may come back. Okay, but they're not talking right now because they don't want to be single. But. They come with manipulation, guys. It's the same person. Damn it. I thought it was going to be somebody now. Alright, Libra. I wanted to read these cards that flipped out for you, too, from the Oracle. This awesome Oracle deck, okay? We had Chaos and Conflict. And this card means disarray, being at cross purposes with another, the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. Stubbornness is keeping you in a state of opposition. The incessant need to be right will only serve to prolong the conflict that deep down you want to be resolved. This is an opportune moment to learn about your values, your sense of self, what's really important to you. Some things are non-negotiable. If that's true, it's not necessary to fight. Can you find a way through the stormy emotions to higher ground? Soon the air will clear, and you will be in a much better place than before, for the storm will have passed, blazing a path for new growth in its wake. Things can become electric and enlightened, always better than before if you use this time constructively. There was one. And the other one was Loyal Heart, and it came out reversed. So this one says, are you stubborn or overly tenacious about an idea? Or have you become so attached to something that you just don't know how to let it go? Could it be that it's become so much a part of you that you wouldn't know who you are without it? Now is the time to look at outdated beliefs, old ideas, and misplaced loyalties. Betrayal is only a signal that it is time to prune away all who don't deserve your trust and have no place in your life. Be new, think new, and open your heart to new things. Let go of the old and all your old attachments. Spirit has awesome plans for you, so make some room. And that's what I've got for you, Libra. I hope you guys join me in December when I put out a full video for you guys. Alright, have a good one.